Hello and welcome to my re-review of my Railroad Hornby BR Class A1 Tornado. I reviewed this about three years ago, but I thought I'd do another review of it because it's been like three years. I can't exactly remember where I bought this. I think I bought this in WD models in Chesterfield, I think. Back then, can't, well it says $84.99, but I've just checked on the Hornby website. Right. They're now selling this for £100.99. If you're selling it for £100, I don't know why they put the 99 pence on, they should have started like, directly for £100, but I don't know. Well, let me just show you the end label. There you go, it says Hornby there. It's R3060 Tornado BR Class A1. And as you can see, it is DCC ready. And again, this is in the railroad range. Not much about the box. So that, let's open up and find out what we've got inside, as if we don't already know. <laughs> so I've got a few bags of bits here, and pipes by the looks of it. Got the paperwork here, Class A1 Tornado, operating and maintenance instructions, lubrication, accessories, closed coupling if you want to, couple it even closer shows you how to remove the body DCC ready shows you how you can fit it the chip and lastly the how to fit the brake rods nice safe packaging let's get the local out first I believe there's some holes behind it the cab not painted but as you can see there is some detail in there see it would have been nice if it was painted hasn't got spring buffers it's quite heavy nice BR green or oh, very dusty my fault really because I've had it on my shelf don't Find dust on a brand new model, obviously. <laughs> Got nice handrail, at least it's not moulded, at least it's a proper handrail. It is actually metal, the running plate. That is actually metal, not plastic, which is a good thing. Just having a look at the bogey wheels, I don't think, can't see any pickup. No, I don't think it had any pickups, I can't see. I think it's just the six main wheel where it gets the pickups from. Number is 60163. The whistles are, they feel a bit plastic, don't feel metal to me. These don't close, these little air vents here, they're just permanently open. Let's take a look at the tender. Again with the tender, the buffers are not sprung. You can't take the coal out. The whole thing's plastic apart from the wheels. There's definitely no pickups from the tender because you can tell by the coupling and there's no wires going from the tender to the loco. So it's just those six wheels on the loco itself. You can see where, the, where you put the water in and I don't think that opens. No, it doesn't open. Got eight wheels, the tender. British Railways, as you can see. I like the white lining all the way around it. There's some detail on the back. See, there's some little steps. I suppose though, you can climb up top and open the lid, get to the water with the coupling again. Lower. That's what it's talking about, the closed coupling. You've got two holes. You know, that's where you put the coupling to. So if you want it further, you put it on the outer hole, like so. Or if you want to go on closer, you just put it on the inner hole, depending on your choice. Apart from wiggles about. There we go. That's what it looks like if it's closed coupling. That's what it looks like if it's not closed coupling. So you can tell that the gap's bigger. There's two chimneys. Well, let's get her out and onto the track and see what she looks like. I just want to quickly point out if you had noticed there was something missing from the tornado, then you'd be right because these smoke deflectors easily break off. And I've got both of them here. There should be one for each side. This one is for that side, and that one is for that side. You have to be really careful, as I said, they break off really easily. It should look something a bit like this. I don't know if there's much point in uh, gluing them back on again because they're, they're 
Mate, I need to just break off again, so right, let's go and see how she runs. There's my tornado. Without its smoke deflectors, as I said, they break off easily. So I've got three teak LNER carriages for it to couple up again. So let's take a look and see. Let's get some of the other locos going. And there we have the, the FS carrying two car trailers. And then we have a an 060 Great Western Railway with a crane, a small coach and a guards van. And then on the inner track we have a steampunk loco with a small with a small carriage and a van. I think you can get the idea now, so thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, thank you, bye.